You have a 15-year-old son? Yes, his name is Kevin Jr. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, what kind of mom are you? I'm just thinking like Wendy Williams, the mom. I'm trying to imagine you at home. What are, what are the rules at home? Are you pretty loose about stuff? Are you, pretty, are you an uptight mom? I'm kind of turning into my own mother. I find myself screeching and yelling a lot now that he's um, 15. I'm loose in some ways and uptight in others. Uh, like, we don't close doors at our house. There is no need for him to be in his room with the door closed. Actually, there, there actually is. No, you know, no, what? No, I, I, listen, I'm gonna tell you something, Wendy. I've been, I was a 15-year-old boy. I and get it. The same thing with 15-year-old girls. I know what you're talking about, but here's the deal. We walk hard in our house, and that way, or we're always clearing our throats. That's the warning sign that here I come. You don't just tiptoe to somebody's room. I respect him, so when I come to see his room, you hear it. Or I'm, um, mm -mm, mm -mm. Kevin, here I come. Right. And I, and I walk slow to give him a chance to clean up. And we don't close our door either, but if you walk in on me and my husband, you're gonna get a surprise. Oh, has, that, has that happened with your son? Once, three, uh, when he was 13. Okay, can you tell us what happened? No, but, but I'll just tell you this, he got a surprise and he will never do that again. Well, I think it's fair for me to know what the surprise was. You're on a, you're on a talk show and you have a talk show. Yes. And you know the rules, so. But late night. What the hell did he walk in on? He, he walked in on me giving my husband a favor. <laughs> At two o'clock in the morning. Two o'clock in the morning? Yes. Oh my God, you guys must have had a lot of coffee. What do you, uh, it's real... I mean, you know, the hours are weird. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So he walked in on you doing that? Yes, and he forgot to clear his throat and stomp. Yeah. Well? Well, what did he think was going on? Well, he, he didn't hear anything, he saw the TV. And then he looked, and what do you think we did? Continued. That alone. You continued? Although the next day, what do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean you continued? Coming? You like looked over and you were like that and then you went, continued? No, I looked up and looked back down. Maybe my husband went like this, but the next day he was going out, you know, with some of his friends and I usually, we leave the house with a hug and a kiss. He hugged, but he wouldn't kiss me. Yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't kiss me, Conan. <laughs> but I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> These are charming stories, but listen, how is he now? Was he at all? I mean, that would, that would, that would blow a kid's mind, I would think. That would just, uh, settle down. That would, I would need years and years of therapy. You sound like your kid was fine. Because we come from a different generation. These kids these days, there's, it's kind of, or at least our son, I guess, is very chill in a lot of ways. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. We've never had the conversation about it. And in my mind, if we ever do have it, it's, I'm gonna lead with, well, at least your mother and father love each other. Yeah. Which is more than I can say for some of the kids that, you know, that you're growing up with. Right. So enjoy that. Yeah. Well, you could just show him this tape. You don't have to talk to him about it. <laughs> You've talked about it now, so you're all set. Just, you know, pop the tape in. You're all good. Well, you know.